I don't have a witty intro for this one, so let's talk about some apps. Hendrix here for Root Junkie. Today gonna to be looking at the first apps that I install when I install a new ROM or get a new phone. Everybody has their priorities when it comes to new apps and this video is just gonna showcase the ones that I've fallen in love with. Note that no Google apps will be included in this video as most of them should be included in any ROM or phone, such as Android Wear, Chrome, and Hangouts, which I use on a daily basis. So without further delay, let's get down to it. Number five, Facer slash Watchmaker Pro. These two apps I consider to be much the same as they both tie into the same website, facerepo.com. If you're not familiar with these apps, they're custom watch face apps for your Android Wear device. They're both very easy to use and I install them both so that when I come across a face I like on Face Repo, I can just hit the button and start having a swanky new watch face. Number four, Beyond Pod. I spend a lot of my day listening to podcasts. Most of my day I'll be listening to a podcast while I'm doing something else, or especially while I'm driving, as I don't listen to radio that often because Atlanta radio sucks. Beyond Pod was the first podcast manager I found and instantly fell in love. You can search from the full lineup of podcasts that you can find on services like iTunes or add your own RSS feed. It's free on the Play Store, but there is a $6.99 unlocked version, which adds a few more features but isn't really needed. But if you have the money and want to support them, why not? Number three, Icon Theme. While this is a very broad pick, I want to single out the team Code Dev. They have a bunch of different themes to choose from, and for $1.99 each, I can't help but buy them all. Each one includes hundreds of icons for maximum compatibility, wallpapers to match, and launcher support galore. Do yourself a favor and go find yourself a Code Dev theme. Number two, SwiftKey. I love SwiftKey. To the point where I can't bring myself to see other people that don't have this app on their phone, or who haven't at least tried it. The layout, the flow option, the features, everything. Just everything about this app amazes me, and to make it better, it's free. I've tried others in the past and will even install another from time to time, but I can't bring myself to leave SwiftKey. Before we get to the number one spot, I wanna go ahead and mention a few that didn't quite make the top five, but you should know about. So here it is, the number one app I install when I install a new ROM or get a new phone is... Nova Launcher. Predictable maybe, but it just works for me. The look is what I want, it has abundance of features, and its support is amazing even when using its beta builds. I will try to use another launcher from time to time just to keep up with the world, but no matter how innovative or new the app, such as Action Launcher 3 may be, I always feel the calling to go back to Nova. It simply works, and when it comes to a launcher that gets used literally every time you turn your phone on, it better. So there you have it, the first apps I install when I have to install apps manually. Thank God for Google Backup. If you like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel for more awesome Android device videos and app videos, leave a comment down below. I wanna know what your favorite app is to install when you get a new phone. And until next time, Hendrix out.